that a cop? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been about a week that we've spent with my buddy's new C8 Corvette. It's been such an awesome time. I haven't really driven it much yet, just around the block, but I wanted to save my real first reactions for wide open throttle pulls, zero to 60 testing. Yes, we're gonna try that. You know, the internet never lies, right? Well, I wanna see firsthand how well it actually works. And I get to take all of you guys along for the ride, trying to beat the rain. If it's windy out here, I apologize. At the end of the day, remember, it is a Stingray. So it is faster than the C7 Stingray, but it is still the base trim. So Z06 is not out yet. I can't wait for it to be released. But until then, this is Chevy's new, what's up? Yes, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's it. Yes, everybody loves this car, man. It's, yeah, it is, man. What do you think of the color? Oh, I love the color. Yeah, yeah. It's not really even yellow. It's like highlighter, you know? What do I do? What do we do for a living? Yeah. I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber? That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's his car. His car. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to go out here and abuse the hell out of it. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, I would do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, get your channel real quick, then. Yeah, man. A lot of Mustang stuff, a lot of racing stuff, and now Corvette stuff. Appreciate the support. Sure, yeah, man. All right, man. You guys be safe, all right? All right, we're going to hop in the car and uh start the video off with some zero to 60 test runs people say that this thing is absolutely brutal zero to 60 so we're going to put that to the test i want to feel for myself um, of course my mustang makes a whole lot more horsepower than this but if we're not traction limited we should be in for a bit of a treat a bit of a ride so glad to have you guys on the channel if you are new here please subscribe hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss content and leave the video a thumbs up i appreciate it all right let's go so what we're gonna do first is uh what zero to 60 yeah drive mm -hmm. and we're off <laughs> button twice slowly too fast okay now there you go Where now you turn the you? dial until you get to sport one. sport one all right put your left foot on the brake all the way to the floor push it hard gotcha now slowly push on the gas break two seconds that's impressive dude this is nasty though a little like the, the traction control in this is brilliant it well, doesn't have to be in sport 2 sport 2 has less nannies okay so we'll race spend has almost no nannies yeah so we'll spend more if we do yeah. that we want to hook up and go uh-huh reset the timer zero to 60 we're now do it one then two one two there, there we, go. we go a little confusing to get to this yep. honestly so it's two stepping at about 3,500 RPM. So I'm gonna come out here and do it one more time. If we can't get it, then we'll just move on. All right, I'm gonna have to reset it one more time, the timer. And it's starting to rain. Well, then we do it quick. Reset the timer. Right, reset timer is, yep. Sport one. pressure at all and we have you know a, a packed car we got stuff in here we got two people um, so yeah I, I definitely would believe the 2.9 mm -hmm. but I mean even 3.2 to 3.4 0 to 60 two people in a car bunch of stuff in the front in the crazy trunk. three two three two three four three two yeah that's yeah, it's on the money you know we could drop maybe a pound or two out of the tires and maybe get down to a three one we could drop you know, there's 40 that, pounds out of the back because the, other, the old cats are still in there. Yeah. We could shed 
350 pounds out of the car. I get out, you get the stuff out of it. That's going to be a 2.8 right there. We can do that. This car is freaking on fire, man. Holy crap. 2.9. You did it. 2.9. 2.9. 0 to 60. 2.9. 2.9. Yes. 2.9. 0 to 60. Two nine? nine. Is that a cop? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, that's a cop. He waved at me. <laughs> I was like seventy. I was like, I'm getting pulled over. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm glad I'm not in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, two point nine. He was just waved at me. That's cool. He's probably just wanted to watch it. That's awesome, man. This car is. Could see if he wants a ride. This car is great. This car is so. Fantastic. How consistent though? Yeah, I mean, uh, we drive. Yeah, with just me in the car, two point nine. Every we just filled up full tank of gas, so we added a bunch of weight back in the car, 2.9, and it spun hard. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if we weren't, if we had, we, we played with tire pressure, if the DA was better, and what I mean by like density altitude, I could see a 2.6, 2.7 on this car all day long. So with a Mustang, it takes, well, I mean, 500 horsepower of a Mustang, a E85 intake tune, headers, um, you're not going to be able to get close to that. It's just mm -hmm. going to spin them off. I don't care if you're on a drag rig or not. I lived that life for a long time before I went twin turbo. It just doesn't do it. This does because we have all that weight sitting back there. Obviously helps. Mm -hmm. But it's impressive to feel that on the street is really, really awesome. It's, 500 horsepower in this yeah. is more... I mean, what it does to the car is more than 500 horsepower in a Mustang. Mm -hmm. It's the efficiency in the way it uses the power. We keep bringing up Mustang... Now, they're not comparable. This no. is obviously a Corvette, and a Mustang is a Mustang. And I love them all. I'm an automotive enthusiast. I don't care really what it is. If it's fast and it puts a smile on my face, that's what I'm all about. And hopefully you're the same. But this car is very impressive. The luxury that, and the, the, the bang for buck that you get. And yes, it's got some weird quirks. But the cool thing is, though, we do have a Z mode. If you're watching the Xander 13 YouTube channel, and we have a Z mode. It's really sweet. So you could just be like cruising around. You could be in your, your mind mode set up and be in comfort. You want to pass someone in the street, you hit this button over here, and it's basically like going into track mode very well, quickly. It's whatever you want it to be. Yeah, it's, custom, got your, it's customizable yeah. like a mind mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a it's like a secondary my mode that is for a temporary use. It's like, oh, this dude wants to play, boom, blow his doors off, put it right back to where you were at. Yeah, th that's that's what we've done a couple of times already. So 2.9 as advertised. Guys, what an impressive car. Gonna officially end it here. A bunch of zero to 60 testing is complete in the bag. It works, it's beautiful, full tank of gas. Um, it's terrible weather out here. It, I don't know what else to say. There's a couple of quirks about the car. I mean, I can show you a couple real quick before we end the video. I think that um, you know, there needs to be like some venting back here on the exterior, but that's about all that I can say for the outside of the car. There's a couple of little issues that I think, I a little couple of little weird things with the, I wish that this was metal instead of plastic for these vents. But I mean, honestly, that's like really nitpicking. The car is really good. The car, it's really good. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, not the biggest Chevy fan, but it's really good. It, it is, honestly. But man, one last look at the 2020 Corvette Singray. Oh, I do want to leave you with this. 
as we walk around the car, everybody compare, they say that the car's slow. Remember, this is a base Stingray, more or less. The Z06 is coming, more models, but throughout history, the Stingray has never been fast. I mean, the last one, the C7 had, what, 460 horsepower? So here we have 495, so it is a big improvement. But people need to remember that, I think. This is not the big dog. The big dog is not out yet, the Z06. This is your everyday Stingray. And look, is he gonna stop and say hello? He's looking, he's, I guarantee you a second picture. <laughs> so when the Z06 comes out, then I think that's a more fair comparison to the 2020 GT500. Yes, it's 2.9, zero to 60, but it's still 500, basically naturally aspirated, uh, where you're people are comparing it to a supercharged car, and I think that's wrong. Honestly, we got a pony car versus something that was ground up created for performance around the track. Um, I just think that this is kind of in its own league. Dare I say a budget entry level supercar. Okay, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next video. Hit subscribe, thumbs up. I appreciate it. Helps us grow. I think I said that like maybe four or five times in the video already. But until the next one comes out, I'll see all of you guys later. Have fun. Be safe. Have a great day. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.